But in terms of human uh, and uh, animal senses of humor, there is Coco, a gorilla born in San Francisco Zoo, you may know about, who knows supposedly 2,000 words and a thousand sign language words uh, said to comprehend both puns and slapstick. The puns, and this, you believe it or don't, she was once asked, what can you think of that is hard? And she replied, a rock and work. Mm. That's is extraordinary. Yeah, that's, that, uh, that's a yeah. category slip. Yeah. You know, it's a genuine sort of pun. That's a zoigma, isn't it? Yeah, uh, it's a like zoigma. a zoigma. Yeah. Jenny's um, a couple more points. and she could do it. Yeah, you get that's a good word. Slips is zoigma or zoigma. Yeah. Slapstick, she once tied her trainer's shoelaces together and then signed the words, chase me. <laughs> The brilliant Miriam Rothschild, of whom you may have heard, uh, she did much work on pond life of various animals and extraordinary life cycles of incredible species. But she also had a parrot that could imitate her calling the dog and whistling and saying for a walk, and the dog would arrive, and then the parrot would laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Extraordinary thing. Uh, it was, you know, this joke, you must know it. Um, it's his friend as a parrot, and, and the sports results are going, and he goes, uh, Norwich one, Ipswich two. And the parrot goes, oh, no. Oh, and you go, what's going on there? So well, every time Norwich lose, the parrot cries and bursts into tears. And he says, well, what happens when Norwich win? I don't know, I've only had it four years. <laughs> <laughs> it came from the heart, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>